Mm. What is this great tasting drink I'm enjoying right now? Actually, Carl, this is uh, organic acai berry juice. This is the number one superfood. It has a very good benefits like anti-aging and um, it promotes weight loss. So basically, um, Hollywood celebrities are taking this um, acai berry and we're bringing acai berry here in the Philippines through organic. That's great. Now I'm taking it on the rocks. Are yes. there other ways we can enjoy this drink? Yes, uh, you can make smoothie out of it. Um, ban two bananas and then put a, a shot of milk and five ice cubes and a shot of acai. And then you can put it also uh, together with uh, any baking um, goods. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and aside from uh, being a very nice uh, thirst quencher, what else will it do for me, this aside? And you call it superfood. Why? Because it contains all the nutrients that our body needs. So basically, the fruit can stand alone. Um, it has the omega oils, which no other fruit has omega oils in it. It has protein, so higher concentration of protein. Um, calcium ha has higher calcium content than milk. It has vitamin A to vitamin Z, iron, potassium, fiber. So basically, when you drink this, you don't need other supplements. This can stand alone. Yeah, incidentally, this superfood is not coming from the Philippines. The fruit is not uh, produced in the Philippines. Mm, the fruit does not grow here in the Philippines. It grow in Philippines. It grows in the heart of the Amazon uh, rainforest, so, and then um, basically it's being shipped to California, where it's being processed. Because here in Asia, we don't have this processing where you sterilize the um, the juice, you pasteurize the juice. So. Um, basically, it has no preservative, no additive, no coloring in the juice. It's just pure. Yeah, even in the U.S., this is very popular. I've heard this over talk shows, popular talk mm -hmm. shows uh, from Hollywood stars. Mm -hmm. But in yes. the Philippines, you started creating the product awareness. Yes. How was that? So there's a, there's a bit of a challenge because not only we're pushing the brand, but also the, the, the generic, which is acai. So there's a lot of information dissemination through TV, uh, radio, and print. And um, that was uh, two years ago. So right now, I'm glad that people know acai, uh, organic uh, acai berry already. So, you know, it, it pays. I'm just curious because bringing this drink in the Philippines from, from elsewhere and manufactured in the U.S. Mm -hmm. must have taken an entrepreneur in you. Yes. What, what were you doing before you entered into this business? Um, I used to work as a nurse. My husband used to work um, in the company where, where um, they make nutraceutical products in U.S. So that's where he find out about, you know, um, acai as the best um, wellness drink there is in U.S. and uh, in the world. But I'm sure it was not easy to start. It, it was not easy because uh, uh, this, all this, pro this product is imported from California. So bring it here. You know, it's uh, and also the formulation of the product. We have to formulate in a way that it suits the Asian taste. Yeah. Yes, and um, there's so many acai out there, but it has a different taste. Not very Asian. Not very Asian. So th the difficulty of loyal customers will be a challenge there so if the it doesn't taste good. The mega food does not have to come in a bitter taste. Yes. And that's that's yes. the best part of it. Mm -hmm. Today, Organic enjoys a well-established nationwide distribution channel. What's the vision? Like five years from now, what do you expect to happen? Actually, we want organic um, to uh, promote wellness. So uh, right now we started with the concentrate acai. So we we'll venture into, um, let's say, other wellness products that focus on acai. Quite the reluctant entrepreneur, Kathy has nonetheless acquired a certain degree of business savvy and is rather generous with sharing her learnings. Having heard that, I've seen the nurse in you. Mm -hmm. I thought I came here to meet an entrepreneur, but I'm glad that I'm meeting a nurse entrepreneur. Oh. I'm sure you have learned a lot because this is a totally different field. Yes. What have you learned so far after two years in business? Um, actually, my passion is really in business. I, I, I'm happy to incorporate both. Yeah. yeah being a health professional and being, being in business. Um, I'm happy that, you know, as a child, I grew up in a business environment. My father's a businessman. So, you know, that, that 
gives me a fulfillment on what I want to become. As, as you know, when I, I dream of becoming. Yeah. yeah so. The, the, entrepreneurship is never a popular choice or option among nurses. Yes. And what's your advice for people who are intending to be in business and but are afraid? You know, a lot of Filipinos would have wanted to be in business but are so afraid to be in business. I think that's the main reason why people are not into business because they are afraid to take risks. Uh, being in business, you have to take risks. Um, I think uh, you have to look in the other side also. Whatever you do, even if you're not in business, you're still taking risks. Yeah. So might as well take the big risk because you're going to rip off big benefits, big rewards out of it.